Now, you young men from Libya, and young, come, come, all of you. Come here. I want you to see our children who traveled looking for greener pasture. Come up, come up. God brought them back. Uh, stand, uh, stand. Mom, come to this side. We have more space down there. First of all, I would like us to stand on our feet. We are going to sing one song to God that you came back alive. We are going to sing, and you are all from a car. So the song will be in a car language. Thanking God that you are alive. Because many died. The sea swallowed many. The desert destroyed many. Destinies, a sons and daughters. Because of the economic nature of Nigeria. Where our politicians and leaders are storing billions. Look at talented young men and women. They are confused. They don't know what to do again. And they, on their own, they decided to enter the desert. To go and stay on top of Blum Blum and pass through ocean. When even to enter boat and pass through river is difficult. Why? I remember Mwenyeka my mother is suffering and I took it upon myself and I passed through desert and see and here I am pray for me pray for me my children I am your brother I am from Eka and that is why I brought this center here to pray for people for breakthrough for the past three years, we have been existing here, but I said to give them a change of pattern because we are here to solve problems. Jesus said, I have come to bring solution. I want to give you this advice that your greatness is in you. Many of you were doing well before you decided to go. Other are bricklayers, Carpenters, iron benders, students, you were doing well. When you were you were manipulated to go. Somebody told you, and you are deceived by some of these people who come around with Jeep, with Rolls Royce, with, 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 with all kinds of things. You were only when you go to Europe that the money is just there. Not even knowing that Nigeria is better than some of those places. It is true that their currency is higher. But the truth is that, oh Lord, oh Lord. Now, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to lay hands on you. For one thing. Before I do the second one and the third. The one thing is restoration of your glory. Need down. Now hear this. What do I mean? Akalaka. When God created you, He gave you destiny. Your salvation is not coming from abroad. Your visit to abroad next time will be with complete paper. <laughs> if God has destined you to be there, you will be there. And you will go there. Even white men will serve you. I say white men will serve you. White men will serve you. 
you will not go there and be slaves. Because as I lay hands upon you, your destiny will come back. Your destiny, your gift, that grace will come back. That deceived you. I arrest that power now. And I come against that power now. In the name of Jesus. Every power that seduces you into letting go your divine mandate, divine destiny, I destroy in the name of Jesus. A car land is being emptied. Ogambo, Ibialeka, Yahoo, bricklayers, Yahoo, carpenters, Yahoo, iron benders, Yahoo, people with different talents. But from nowhere, wind of Malaysia, wind of Europe, said so that blowing away their destiny if you can shout amen with me there shall be restoration now there shall be restoration now Jesus said I am the way you want to go to abroad Jesus is the way Libya is not the way desert is not the way ocean is not the way today may Jesus lead you Ah, now that I know that one of the major reasons why you decided to go was to get money to make money that goes you make manipulate deceive money but I want to prophesy open your two hands get me enough oil please I want to pour oil in their hands money will serve you yes I said money will serve you money will serve you I open doors doors of greatness before you this your experience will be a testimony Father Lord I thank you so we are going to thank God for bringing them back and then they talk on the way why he was up Unless they did not pass where those who told me pass. You see people dying of hunger. You see people in sick, no treatment. You see cold, fear. They cannot, oh my God. These people here were already at Libya. Many who got to Libya, who crossed, died. Oh, the Libyan as well. Thank God, no, 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 Thank you for bringing them back, O God. Thank you for saving them. Oh, for bringing back our brothers and sisters I thank you 
for saving their lives. For allowing them to see their home again. Thank you, Father. Father, I beg you to bless their families. Change their families. Transform their families. As I lay hands upon them with this oil, let there be restoration of glory and open doors. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I transfer breakthrough into your life. Amen. I transfer grace upon grace into your life. The devil will not succeed in manipulating you again. Where there is no road, you will not follow. No matter how people have been passing there, you will follow your own destiny. Amen. Through the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now receive grace upon grace. Restore to them the joy of our salvation. Oh Lord, my God, restore to them the joy of their salvation. Oh Lord, you are. one grace of rediscovery of your talent your greatness some of you by now would have been professionals in your field but because of greener pastures you know you have behaved like a prodigal son i want to thank you for thinking of coming down to this ground for prayer that is why we have 
establish this center in Abo. Where no matter the church you attend, you can say, Let's go and receive prayer from our prophet, our own brother. So I ask God to bless you. I ask God to enrich you. Now you have formed yourself to association. That does not mean that you will fold your hands. Please make sure you discover your talent. Those of you, some of you are here, intelligent boys and girls, intelligent, of which by now you are supposed to have graduated in the university. Some of you are supposed to be professional window makers, door makers, classic businessmen. So I really pray that through this contact, there will be greatness in your life. Your mother and your father and your brothers and sisters, whom for their sake you wanted to go to look for money, we one day testify. So um, I would like your leader to see me later. I don't like announcing what I give to people again in public before I announce what I, what I would like. But when I look at you, if you can walk, let me know. The kind of job you can do, let me know. I can employ you. At least, I can. If you can bake bread, I can open a bakery for you. So, you will do me a favor now. Let your leader, all of you, write what you can do and give to me. Your phone number and what you can do. I will call you. Now, listen to me. I'm going to use you to open my event center. I want to call you. I want people to come and take lunch with me one day.